my name is Steve Mishler, and I'm the lead researcher for the Personal Dust Monitoring Project. The project takes place at the Pittsburgh Mining Research Division in Pittsburgh Laboratory. And most of the research deals with creating and implementing the Continuous Personal Dust Monitor, which is currently used uh, by the Mine Safety and Health Administration to measure exposure concentrations of coal mine dust for coal miners. The Continuous Personal Coal Dust Monitor was really developed in order to give the miner a better idea in a more appropriate time scale of what their dust exposure is. In the past, the way they would sample for coal mine dust is they would put a filter on a miner and then they would pull air through it throughout their work day, an eight hour work shift. And then two weeks later, they would deliver the results of that sample. So the miner wouldn't know exactly what their exposure concentration was until two weeks later. For about 10 years ago, or 15 years ago really, we sort of thought that a way to continuously measure the dust, or the exposure of, the, of miners would actually enable the miner to reduce their dust exposure. So we started working on a, uh, trying to create an instrument that would actually be able to do that. The mining environment's very harsh, and so it was difficult to actually create an instrument that could be feasible within that type of environment, thus the 15-year time frame. I think the biggest impact is really the ability currently to give um, the miner their actual exposure continuously throughout the day. And we know from using the PDM now that miners can actually significantly reduce their exposure concentration just by taking a step to the right or taking a step to the left or taking a step backward or step forward. In addition, if they see that their concentrations are high by reading it on their instrument because there's a, a real-time readout there, then they can actually also maybe adjust controls that are on the uh, whatever equipment that they're operating just to make sure that they're working properly. And this is a big advancement over the previous way they did it because miners would have no information to then make those adjustments. So MSHA, the Mine Safety and Health Administration, they um, initiated a new coal dust rule a couple of years ago. And in that coal dust rule, they actually mandated the use of the continuous personal dust monitor. So currently the CPDM is used in every underground coal mine in the United States to uh, test for the exposure concentrations of those miners. And they also enabled the miners and the mining industry to lengthen the number of samples that you take. So in the past, uh, a mining industry took five samples for several different types of occupations. Currently, we have to take 15 of those samples for those occupations. So in essence, we end up sampling for 30 or 45 days every quarter, where in the past we probably ended up sampling for 15 days within the quarter. So it really has enabled the mining industry to get a much, much better view of what the actual exposure concentrations to miners have been. The main goal of this research project was to give underground coal miners a instrument that they could use to continuously measure the amount of coal mine dust they are being exposed to. Through this research and through the use of using this instrument, we've seen the exceedance rate or the number of miners that actually are exceeding the regulatory level has dropped by over 90% over the last year that this has been implemented. So we feel through that data that this instrument is really enabling the miners to reduce their underground coal dust exposure.